Through the um, bird songs, you learn, you know, the stories about the land, um, um, how how we came to be, um, just, it is everything, and the language. So the language uh, really came through on that. What is bird singing? Let me show you. What it was in the past for our people to where the songs, they were actually there. It was in the time and in the place and the moment that they took place. Anything in history, you want to preserve what's good, the good things, and this is a good thing. But as long as we can, you know, keep this going, we'll be able to hear it. The parent passing down this ancient ritual of song, you know. We came out of the ground in this area, mm -hmm. you know. And we went far, we realized home was back where we came out of that ground back here, right here in this area. Songs were uh, learned generation to generation, and they were passed down. Um, but the songs today are songs of the people. It doesn't matter what mileage you have to travel to go. Like myself now, now I have to travel like three, four, five hundred miles to go sing. It's a story that tells of why the songs were sung in sequence. He tells a story, and he stops, and then you pick up another song, and it continues on with the story. It is completed. Because I never learned about my tribe in school. I never learned about. I didn't even know who our people was back then. I just thought we were, we were an Indian. Like the, even, even my teacher didn't even know who we were. I, I love singing and dancing. It, 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 it makes me like, 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 I, I feel great. Your desert Kauia, mountain Kauia, you know, they're, you know, even though they're similar, but still, and, and even in their dancing, like the Arizona, Ladies dance different. They dance differently from here, the, the desert. So by their dancing, you'll know where they're from. So that, that, I think, is a benefit to the young people, to know who they are by their, their dancing, their singing, their language, the, the way they speak. That we're still here. We're still here representing our ancestors, what they taught us. And, and expose it to the public now that we get exposed to the public now that you choose it like people choose to become priests and they become celibate and they give up whatever you know you pick up that rattle it doesn't make you a singer but if you go through the proper channels and you do what you have to do you become a singer and you're a singer for life what are we singing about and i tell them about the song that we're singing about i tell them what it means because the songs that we sing are sto stories of our migration. Don't hide your song. Be proud of your song. Bring it out from your heart. Be Bird singing to me is um, our native song and dance that was given to us by Creator. Even a lot of, a lot of uh, bird singers today, young bird singers today, they want them to go to Powell or they go to events, they want to get paid, they want rooms, they want, you know, my, when, when I was raised up, my uncles didn't say, well, they ask you to go, you go, you find a way yourself to go. So when you go because you're going from the heart, you're going, you're going because you, you love your songs and you share your songs to the people. Bird singing is singing from area to area, from place to place. We sing, we dance, and we practice our culture for the future generations to come. Oh, wow.